What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Raps. So today I wanna to talk to you about something that I get asked a lot of questions about, and that is how to start a business wrapping cars. How much can I make? How do I do it? You know, that kind of stuff. And what I've done here is I've broken it down a little bit. So I started wrapping cars in my garage or in my driveway, and I turned that into a business. You, if you love doing something, you'll find a way. But I also do want to point out the things that should be the most obvious is, ob is income, cost of stuff, and you know how wrapping a car equates to actually making money. Now, you know the average price of a vehicle wrap around here and around the US, depending on where you go. So again, these prices are going to fluctuate, but also the cost of living, so your overhead and things like that will also fluctuate. So I'm gonna go with the average wrap price of 2,500. Now, that's pretty standard. I, not a lot of shops will charge less than that. I know a lot who do actually charge more. Uh, I, in fact, do charge more than that as well. But again, that depends on the quality level and what we're putting into it. So I always you know, take extra time and make sure I'm extra careful to ensure that, the, that my customers have the best wrap possible. Enough about me, we'll talk about you, right? So again, that price, that average price will fluctuate depending on the area that you're in. Now, again, it doesn't matter if we're in Toronto, it's about the same, or if we're in Florida, or if we're in California, the average price is about the same. Of course, there's always low ballers in the industry, and again, I did it too, so where I charged a lot lower than that to make sure that I was getting in work. We'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. So next, we have your average material cost. Now this can range, obviously, it can go up into the thousands, but we're getting into the average, right? Most people are not getting chrome wraps. You know, a chrome wrap, the chrome material here costs about $3,000 Canadian. So, I mean, that puts that number to shame right there. But, you know, depending on if we're going with particular brands, you wanna go with least less expensive brands or how much material you're ordering, if you're ordering just enough for the car, if you're ordering a whole roll, that sort of thing. That, that number will be somewhere around there for the most part, you know, and, and you can pretty much get any brand, uh, Vivid, 3M, Avery, Hexus, Oracle, Cheetah Wrap, whatever you want for about this price range, okay? Now, that's some of it's like a full roll, but you don't, don't take into consideration the color flip stuff and like the diamond line and brush metals and carbon fibers, it's all different, okay? So I'm talking about straight color changes here. Obviously, as we go up into different finishes and different material costs, that price will change. Obviously, then that price will change, right? So that's, everything's relative here. So the cost of your overhead, okay? So I'm just gonna go based off of what I have paid in the past, roughly about $2,000 for a shop. Then we have insurance, heat, and gas and water. So 500 bucks to put in for that. So it's somewhere around there. Again, that will change. You can get shops for like a thousand bucks. You don't need a big space. You just need a space to wrap cars that's clean, that's out of the contaminated environment, has a controlled environment, uh, preferably climate controlled if you can. It, I mean, you, you will need at least heat in the winter time and, and because the cold will be an issue. Hot heat, on the other hand, you can work with it in the summertime if you have to. It can be just harder on yourself. So if you can have air conditioning, amazing. I've worked in non-air con air conditioned shops forever. You know, you just get used to it is what it is. Not a lot of big shops do have AC in them. Some do, most don't. I even know like big warehouses and things like that, they don't even have AC in there. So I mean, it's, it's big companies with big warehouses don't have AC in there. So it is what it is, right guys? And we just gotta work with what we have. The, a the air conditioning part is more of a luxury. But you do need heat in the winter time if you're in an environment that sees cold temperatures. So again, the cost of that at $2,500 a month is about $30,000 a year, okay? Now, if we do one wrap per week, and we have 52 weeks in a year, just one wrap per week, nothing else, no extra roof wraps, no taillight tinting, no chrome trim deletes, no decals, no, no, no interior wraps, no nothing else, one wrap a week. So we're gonna do $2,500 times 52, comes to $130,000 gross. Automatically, we see that, we see our, our overhead at $30,000 a year. So just for example, I, this is about what I paid in Miami, a little bit less, or around there, sorry. Uh, for my for my shop, so that's in the U.S. Uh, again, depending on where you are, and that's Miami is a good spot. So, you know, that's probably on the higher side, even, but depends on the size and the square footage of your of your shop. You don't the location can be an issue, and sorry to get off topic here, but the location could be an issue, but it hasn't ever really been an issue. Uh, not when people start to know that you're doing good work. It doesn't matter if you're seen from a busy street. 
How many times do you drive by something that you see on, a, on the side of a busy street and go in and buy something? It's not very common. So, I mean, there is, there, you do pay for exposure if you're in an area like that, but I don't really absolutely think that it's necessary. Is it worth the extra payments or the extra fee tacked onto the, the rent? I don't believe so. That's just my opinion. You might see otherwise. And again, that's totally up to you. But, you know, we're looking at about $30,000 a year for our overhead. Insurance, heat, gas, rent. Now, we have, I, I broke it down here, or I put it somewhere in between 300 and 700 for material costs, average, because it's going to average itself out. Sometimes you're going to have material that costs three to 400. Sometimes you're going to have material that costs six to 700. And there's going to be a range in there where it averages out. I've done a lot of wraps, so I can honestly tell you that it's probably, I mean, in Canada, we pay more for vinyl and you actually pay less in the US for vinyl. So it's even better for you in the US because you're profiting more because the average price of the wrap doesn't actually change from here to there. But the cost of material does. The cost of material goes down to several hundred dollars as soon as we go down to the US. Crazy, right? Uh, for those of you who don't know that, who live in the US and don't know what we pay up here in Canada, we pay the exact same, we, we buy the exact same thing and we pay hundreds more uh, in a lot of cases. So again, that doesn't change the average wrap price though. Now, We've got our material cost $500 per car, so that's 52 cars in a year, comes out to 26 grand. Simple math, not that complicated. Now we have a gross profit or gross income of $130,000. We have to subtract the $30,000 and then we also have to subtract the $26,000, leaves us with $74,000 net. But then you have to minus taxes in whatever state or province or wherever you live. Income tax is crazy up here, so it's a bit different. But I know that when, uh, you know, like in places like Florida and some other states, they don't have crazy income tax. So, again, depends on where you are, right? Now, why would you want to get into this, okay? Why do you want to wrap cars? Okay, you got to have something that's, that, that you like about it. Um, that's really important. I, I think that having a passion for what you do will actually push you through and show you the way, you know, that you're not... You're not going to truly know the way, but if you actually are persistent and consistent in what you do and loving what you do, well, if you love what you do, then you will be persistent and consistent with it. And you'll find every reason in the world to do it. That's what I did. I did whatever I could to rap and this is where I am. So I'm standing in front of a whiteboard. All right. So the low, I mean, you want to get into this because there's, it's really low initial startup cost. Okay. This is like you just need rent and some tools. We don't need a hoist. You can get some jack stands and a jack. Uh, you don't really need a hoist. You don't really need a lift, but you can get a scissor lift. Maybe that's another thousand or two thousand dollars. Just a really basic one. I've seen some that are around a couple thousand bucks. If you really wanted to, that would probably be the most fancy thing that you need and a compressor to blow away some dust. Really simple stuff. But you're really just looking at your first and last month's rent on the place that you're renting and or deposit or whatever it might be. So. That's your initial startup costs. We're not investing like $50,000, 30, 20, 10, even 10, even, you know, we're not even investing 10,000 bucks. In some cases, not even 5,000 bucks. That's a pretty low startup cost for a business uh, to actually have a space and actually have something that you can make money off of. Because, I mean, there's not a lot out there that's actually gonna give you something for that low with the, with the potential that this has. So this doesn't stop here, by the way, okay? This is, this is the dollar figure that we're looking at here at $74,000 net before taxes is that can, you put one more car in a week and your overhead doesn't change, okay? Your overhead's still 30K a year. You put one more car in a week and we've doubled this number, $148,000, okay? That one more car a week, so two cars a week. It's possible to wrap two cars a week. Even if you don't wrap two cars a week, Okay, so you've wrapped one car a week, you spend three or four days doing it, let's say, and you get a roof wrap in, or you get like three or four roof wraps in, or you get some tail lights or headlight tinting, some chrome trim deletes, some stripes, some, I mean, there's so much stuff that you can just make money on. And I think that, to be honest, the smaller stuff pays better than the actual full car wraps. Full car wraps are excellent because you do need them for your portfolio, so don't get me wrong. If you're in it for just the money, you're gonna lose. Okay, you're going to lose right off the bat. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not even in it for the money still. I still love what I do. That's why I do these videos. Uh, and I get, to, I get the luxury or get the privilege of doing these videos. Okay, so it doesn't stop there. You bring in three cars a week, 
triple that number. So we're in the 200K mark, okay? Three cars a week is a lot of work. You, you will be busting your butt wrapping three cars a week. We've got prep, disassembly, re wrap, and reassembly. Get it clean, get it out. If you can do a car two to three days, yeah, you can probably do them, you can probably do two to three a week. So yes, you can bump that number somewhere around the 200K mark, which is pretty solid for just wrapping cars. You're not doing anything else. Um, you know, not to mention, your, your, every car that you wrap is a business card that's going to go out on the road. That is the most critical thing that I can tell you, okay? This is me knowing that from the very beginning. I was like, okay, I want every single wrap that I do to be the best business card on the road. And so I always strived to do better and put out the best possible, no matter what price I was charging. And again, I, let's say in the beginning, I charged, let's say, 1400 bucks, 1500 dollars for a wrap. You know what, I was wrapping out of my garage at home. I was still making money. It wasn't like it was, it was hurting. You know, material back then was even less. It was like, we have four or 500 or so pretty much up here on average. So, you know, I was making a thousand bucks a car, banging it out in three days. You do the math, you know. I was, sometimes, some weeks I was banging out three cars a week. So yeah, I was making three grand a week times four, four weeks in a month, you're making 12 grand, okay? That's crazy. And you're actually not even charging what you could be charging. So. I did bite the bullet there for a long while where I just kept the price low and brought in as much work as I could. And when I couldn't get any work, what was important here was that I'd offer a promo, I'd offer a discount, I would do whatever that I could. I would post something up somewhere and, and or I would look through some of the extra vinyl that I had left over and I would put that color on a special because maybe I only had to buy like another 10 yards because I already had six or seven yards of it already. So then I'm only adding on 10 yards, so now my cost is like 300 bucks, and I'm not really losing in the end, I'm just utilizing whatever's left over, and that's what I did. So, but again, knowing that every car that hits the road is a business card is very important, because you're gonna put out the best work possible all the time. You get to work for yourself. This means your schedule. You can run out for groceries at two o'clock in the afternoon, you can go to the bank at four o'clock in the afternoon, you can go to your dentist, your doctor, whatever you need to do, the government stuff during the week. These. This is the luxury, you can work on weekends, you can work from midnight to 6 a.m. or 8 a.m., you can do whatever you want, you set your schedule, right? You know, a nice part is, is there's so much flexibility there where, you know, I will just go in and meet clients at the shop on a Saturday or a Sunday. I mean, I have no issue with that at all, actually. I like doing that. It's, it's just a moment, I know that I'm going there for a moment, you know, we get to talk and I get to show them some colors, whatever it might be, just something like that. But when, you're, when you work for a company, you're just limited to your regular nine to five routine. This is, you don't have to have a, a straight routine with this. If something comes up or you need to do something, you just do it. And obviously you don't compromise the work that you have to do, but if something comes up in the middle of the day, you can run out to go do that. And then you can just put in an extra hour or two later on in the evening. No company in the world is gonna allow you to do that. There aren't many. Uh, so again, working for yourself is a huge plus. You're building your own brand and your name, okay? Now, whatever name, company name, or brand, or whatever, whatever you decide on, that's you. It's when you're starting it out, especially by yourself. If you have partners, again, that's, that's a totally different thing. But if you're starting this out on your own, yeah, that your brand that you create, or that name that you create is you. It could be your name, exactly. Just think of it as your name. My business is my initials. So. That was also very important to me, but it didn't start out that way. For those of you who might remember way back, my company was called Vinyl Solutions. And uh, it didn't really, I guess it didn't really ring a bell. I didn't really do all that well. I don't know, it was fine. I, I, was, I was wrapping cars and that was what I was wrapping, the name I was wrapping under for the first three years or so. And then about four years ago, I came up with CK Wraps actually. Nav came up with CK Wraps. And uh, I thought it was genius. So anyways, I actually didn't think it was genius at the time. I thought it was uh, very cliche because, you know, Calvin Klein and CK, and I was like, that's yeah, kind of cliche, but I don't know. Anyways, it, it turned out. So I'm happy I did it. I'm happy I kind of rebranded it in the beginning. And it's not too late to rebrand in the beginning. You just don't want to do that when you're already busy because that's not a good thing. So people always wonder why you're rebranding or why you're changing the name. They think maybe you sold it or just someone else owns it or whatever. So I know that's a bigger threat with bigger companies but there, will, there may come a time when you become a really big company. All right, so there's that. You know, it's a hugely understated industry with big growth potential. Now, 
I can't even tell you, like the, the fact that I do these videos, I, I believe, I truly believe that this brings a lot of awareness to people who are actually interested in getting a wrap. Because not everyone out there is gonna wrap their car themselves. There's no, not a, no chance. People are just not, they don't either have no interest in doing it, they're not handy, they're not creative, or whatever it is, but they just don't, they're just not gonna do it. So they're, I'm creating resources here with the videos to actually help people understand what the wrap is and how it works. That's where the growth potential comes in because I've booked in so many wraps because people have seen how I wrap on YouTube and, they, and they're, they're, they're happy with that. They've got information. They don't come in and ask, they don't even actually come in and ask questions. And the videos are also there as a helpful guide for you guys too because I'll create informative videos and they're, gonna, they're not always wrapping cars, I'm sorry. I'm trying to put out content that helps everybody for the most part. This wouldn't be so much geared towards someone who's looking to get a wrap done, but this is more geared towards you guys wanting to start your own business in the wrap industry. There's so much growth potential in the world that people don't even know at all what a wrap is. You know, with, with Mercedes matte or satin paint jobs, BMW's got them, um, a bunch of other car companies have them too now, like Hyundai. I mean, how do you know what's a wrap and how's not, or what's not? You have no idea truly, and people don't know the difference. One is removable and temporary, one is permanent and forever for the most part. One costs a heck of a lot more, paint job. The wrap costs a heck of a lot less and you have more options with the wrap. So, but people don't know this kind of stuff and that's, that's why I like to put out these informative videos. So again, there's massive growth for this industry and I'm not just talking about like wrapping cars. There's growth for wrapping interiors, walls, like, like you're, you can wrap an entire kitchen, this, the, the appliances and brushed steel, whatever. I mean, I'm gonna actually do some videos on that stuff for you guys, because why not? Um, I thought it would be interesting to show what can be done. I actually wanna revamp the whole kitchen and wrap the whole thing. So I'll show you kind of a before, and then we're gonna see an after and how I do some of it. Anyways, but there's, there's this because we're talking about vehicles here, it's not limited to just vehicles. There's so, much, there's so many other things that you can do. You can just simply cut and install decals or print and install signs or whatever it is that you wanna do, but there's, this is a big industry. And again, there's not a lot of awareness in it. Uh, you get to use, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to use and utilize social media all the time, okay? This is creating a portfolio. It's so important that you utilize what's accessible and free. This is free advertising, and I can't even stress this enough. This is what will get you out there. It's so hard to advertise. What are you gonna do? You're gonna put a sign up on the side of the road? Sure, I mean, that's, that could work. That might get you something. But because there's millions and millions and millions of people on social media, the outreach is insane. So utilize social media to the utmost max. You're gonna make a decision on which outlet is best for you and go with that one, run with that one. I would say whatever one you're getting the most response from, that's the one to invest your time in, but try different ones. For me, Instagram was where, was where it was. You know, I was looking at more work with Instagram than anything else. And I did, local, I did advertise on local pages and stuff like that, Kijiji Craigslist style thing. So again, that helped a bit, but in the end, Instagram really took off. And that helps tremendously. My Instagram was way ahead of my Facebook, which I had started years before that. I don't even invest any time in Facebook. I just, because it's not worth it. Uh, I've, you know, I've even tried paid promos and things like that, but for me, it didn't work. It doesn't mean it for you, it won't work. I haven't done any paid promos on anything else. I just thought that I needed to get that caught up to the rest, but it just seems to be where it is and that's what it is. So uh, use that kind of stuff. So another thing is, Mac more money. So you're gonna make more money. What you wanna do is make more money than most people. You're going to, at $74,000 gross profit, that's actually not net, so it's gross, but I just meant it because it's net from this amount of your expenses. Now you do have income tax depending on where you are. Again, that will vary everywhere you go. So that's not, that number is not always true. That's not gonna be true. You might have zero income tax and you just get all that. I don't know. So you're, you can make, that's, a, that's about the average salary here in Ontario. It's a little bit more, it's around 80K I think, or 78 or 82 or something like that. But to make it 80 or 82 is 
not that far. You're not that far off with just wrapping one car a week. So you could just fill in, put in some couple of roof wraps a month or a couple of chrome trim deletes or whatever it is. And that'll easily bump you up. I mean, you can easily get to the 100K mark, no problem, with just that smaller stuff. Again, the smaller stuff I find pays a little bit better uh, because you tend to charge more hourly for that as opposed to wrapping a full vehicle. You don't truly always know how long it's going to take. You might run into a hiccup. So that is hard to gauge. But again, we also we have to keep it fair in market value when we come to pricing full vehicle wraps. And they're, again, great for your portfolio. But yeah, you're going to make more money than most people. And you work for yourself. I mean, so the average, the average salary here is like 80K, let's say. You're only making a little bit less. And you have the full privilege of working for yourself. I don't really think it gets much better than that. There's no one to tell you when to come and go. You just come and you go. Uh, again, when you do have that passion, that motivation, that will show through. So you will probably be working harder and doing more if you really care about what you do. A lot of this stuff is obviously things that you probably already knew or already had thought of. But again, I wanted to point it out and also show you what the points are. All these numbers change. Everything does change depending on what you put into it and the area that you're in. Those are your, your really true defining points right there. But otherwise, you have free range. So how are you going to get, let's get into the next topics here. So how are you going to get people in? Well, getting people in, that's the challenging part because you need something to wrap. If you don't have something to wrap, then you're not going to be able to show the work. If you have a car, use your car. Wrap your car in a month, wrap it one color. If you can do it again next month, wrap it in another color. And another thing here, do not choose something that's bland and boring because nobody's gonna ask questions. The whole idea of doing this is to get yourself noticed. So you have to do things, and you might not like the color or whatever, you might not like color shifting stuff, and you might not like heavy metallics, you might not like this, you might not like that. You know how many times I've wrapped my car and I didn't like the color? I've only probably liked the color on my car twice. I do like the color now, it's just not really me. So, but I do do it to show people, okay? That's what I, that's what I do. It's on display. If you choose a gloss gray and you put gloss gray over gloss white, that's boring. Don't put gloss blue over gloss black. I mean, anything gloss that's gloss, even gloss metallic is kind of boring unless it's color shifting, okay? That's a bit different. Then we're gonna see something. We're gonna draw on attention. People are gonna look, they're gonna ask, they're gonna say, hey, what's up? People don't know what a wrap is, a lot of them. So they think it's a paint job. And when you say it's a sticker, they're just like, wow, that's a sticker? I'm like, yeah, it's a sticker. It's pretty impressive. So yeah, you can do a lot of cool things. You know, does it come off? Yeah, it comes off. It comes fully removable. That's, the, that's another, the other idea of it is that, well, yeah, we can just take this off after a couple of years or whatever length of time and you got your car back to normal. So not only if you don't have your own car, you can have friends and family's cars, okay? Reach out to people, see if they want their car wrapped, see if they're willing to invest the cost of material and you do a pro bono because when you're wrapping your own car, you're sure as heck not making any money. Maybe they'll slip you some money, who knows, or maybe they'll pay you something, who knows. But when you're starting out, the whole idea here is to actually build the portfolio. You cannot be booking in work or most people are not going to just book in work without knowing that you've done good work or you've done work because that's just like, hey, I'm an electrician. Let me come wire your house up. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's just me saying that. If you don't have something to show people, like a certificate or whatever, or portfolio, for example, if you're an artist, then no one's gonna believe you. No one's gonna trust you and you have to build trust. That is a huge part of this. Building trust means that you care about the work that you put out and it's not about the money. The money will come if you care about the work that you put out. I can, I can genuinely, honestly, 100% tell you this. That is the, probably the most serious thing I can tell you is that don't focus on the money. Yes, we all need to make money. If you can make enough, then you're doing well, okay? Because you're working for yourself. Anything that comes after that is all going to be bonus, okay? It's all bonus. Just don't even think about the money. Yes, if you have overhead use, you have to make a certain amount and you have to pay it. Don't put yourself in a trap. Be smart about things. But I wouldn't say go out there and open up a shop 
without having some kind of a portfolio or work to show people because otherwise no one's going to come and you can't just advertise how are you going to advertise when you have nothing to show so that's you're going to put yourself in a hard spot if you go out and rent a shop and don't have any work to show people wrap your own car wrap your friends cars borrow someone's garage borrow someone's whatever wrap it outside if you have to i did it outside for like a year so i just got a big tent and i put it around the car um, yeah, wrap it outside if you have to. No big deal. You can do it. You can get it done. That kind of stuff is easy to do, okay? I know I found countless friends and family who wanted their vehicles wrapped. You know, everyone was, everyone was asking. You, there's only so many you want to do, obviously, when it comes to doing things like for free or whatever. So, I mean, get a little selective, but you also have to think here that you're learning. And every vehicle that you wrap, whether it's friends, family, or yours, you're going to be learning on. And you're going to be revising and getting better and faster. And so by the time somebody comes around and asks you, hey, how much, and you're confident to charge market value, that will be the turning point where you're just like, hey, I'm, I'm pretty good at this. I can charge this much or more or a little bit less, whatever you want to come in at. It's not, it's only going to hurt the industry if you keep your price really low and you're really good for a long period of time you built you do want to bring it up to the standard it the market that actually the average wrap price right here this should be like five grand this is way too low to be honest so now imagine we double that number but you know we have cars being wrapped in full ppf for six grand and that's a clear film yes it's paint protection okay i get it but like we're offering a very similar service with actually more work for less money it's it's got a long way to go so there's so, that's why I mean there's so much room for growth there if we keep lowballing the industry then it's going to be difficult to bring it up to market value why is why is paint protection film five to six thousand dollars on a full car because everybody's on the same page but the thing is that not all shops do the best work or do the same kind of work for that price so this is where you set yourself apart now this is where you say hey I don't even need I don't need to raise the price and people will just keep coming to you because if you keep just doing a better job for the same price that everyone else is charging, they're going to come to you. Why would they go anywhere else if you're doing better work for the same price? It doesn't make any sense. But getting yourself out there, social media, that's the important part right there. So, and then getting those business cards out there, those business cars out there. Final wraps aren't a limited market, you know? There's, there's so much you can do with it. You can wrap walls, you can wrap your kitchen cabinets, you can wrap your countertops, you can wrap, I mean, there's so much stuff. I'm gonna start doing some more videos on that, but there's so much stuff. So, you know, you're not limited to just wrapping cars. We get into all kinds of different things. It's a sticker. It can go on almost, almost anything with a higher enough energy level. And you gotta get creative, okay? This is where you get creative. I wrapped a hockey stick, I wrapped a snowboard, I wrapped a drum set, I wrapped, uh, I wrapped a shift knob one time in Chrome. What I like, I wrapped so many different things. Like, you just do it, and you do it just to try it and just to have fun and see how it goes and have fun with it. It's something to show. I wrapped a bicycle, a bicycle in gold chrome, the frame in gold chrome. That was a hard wrap to do, but it was fun. It was like a cool thing to show. It's like it's just another addition to the portfolio. The hockey stick I wrapped in gold chrome. That was just an addition to the portfolio. Snowboard I wrapped in holographic chrome. Another addition to the portfolio. Get creative. There's so much stuff that you can wrap. I can't stress it enough, guys. Anyways, I don't want this video to get too long, so I hope that a lot of this information was informative and helpful for you in seeing it laid out in front of you like this. It's a video that I've been wanting to do for a little while now, and I thought, hey, you know, I'll try and get all the questions answered in this one video right here. Again, if you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you guys wanna see more videos, uh, don't forget that subscribe button. I do have a Lamborghini Huracan coming in. It's coming in next week this week coming up, and uh, it's a full print on Oracle's new print film. I'm so excited about it, it's amazing. Anyways, I'll talk about it more when I do it, but I'm, I'm really hyped up about it. You're gonna see this, this pretty cool print that's uh, custom design. Anyways, I appreciate you watching, guys. Thank you very much, take care.